what's going on everybody connor speed six here welcome back to the channel uh, so today we are back in forza horizon 4 what we are doing we are going to be taking on a brand new custom route from one of my subscribers slash patrons slash youtube channel members it is actually one that we ran recently on stream uh, we did a speed king triple five uh, sort of group a rally custom route feature uh, where he built 10 custom routes and we ran only group a rally cars it was actually extremely fun everybody had a great time the racing was close and tight and the custom routes were really really good now what i did is i actually picked one of those custom routes that was my favorite custom route uh, to feature here for you today so as you can see we are driving the 2003 ford focus rs uh, this paint was done actually quite a long time ago uh, from a subscriber and friend, I, Sam Taylor. I will have their information down below, so if you'd like to, to try to search for this paint, uh, feel free to do so by searching their gamer tag. Uh, it's, again, a really, really cool paint, really fun paint. Uh, he's done, actually, a, a couple for me on um, this car, the McLaren P1, the Ford Transit, and the Ford Escort RS Cosworth, if I remember correctly. Uh, so shout out to I, Sam Taylor. I do have two A-Class tunes shared for this car. Uh, they will both be available for download if you'd like to try them out. They are both A-Class, all-wheel drive rally. This is the brand new one released just recently, so if you want to uh, try that out, make sure to download the most recent one, as it, in my opinion, is a little bit better and a little bit more fun to drive, which is going to come into play perfectly for this custom route. So as you can see, we are at the Lake District Sprint. The custom route does start here. It is at the Lake District Sprint Blueprint, as I said, found right here on the map. Now, what we're going to do is start this event up. The share code for this custom event is on screen now, and I will have it down in the description and pinned comment below, as well as Speed King 555s gamer tag. If you'd like to search for more of his custom routes, he has all kinds of them shared. I definitely recommend any of those Group A rally custom routes that we did on stream. They were all really, really fun, and again, provided a lot of close racing. Uh, but he did actually share an anything goes blueprint for this particular race just so i could run whatever i would like now i will have this custom route blueprint shared in the description below also i will have all 10 uh, of those custom blueprint event share codes shared down below as well as speed king 555's gamer tag so you can take a run on any of those custom routes uh, trust me you'll have a lot of fun as i definitely did so as you can see this event is called the lake district hairpin rally and i gotta tell you it lives up to its name uh, which is just fine with me i absolutely love hairpins and custom rally stages and this one does not fail to provide that now before we get into the video please be sure to leave me a like leave a positive comment down below and be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this let's jump into the race really excited to actually drive this car as i haven't really driven it in a video if i remember correctly we are facing Unbeatable drive guitars, but we all know unbeatable just means in the way. Uh, not a bad start so far. Those Audi TT RSs are OP as all get out for uh, custom, well, off-road events especially. Hopefully I can get around this first corner. Okay, don't go around the outside. There's actually one spot on that bridge that I guess bumps out and completely stops the car dead in its tracks. All right, so we're on the concrete here, or tarmac for a minute, of course. We are gonna dive off. I'm going to use the back of an AI driver car to slow myself down. It's a bit tight, uh, especially with collisions on and unbeatable drive guitars, because again, like I said, they just get in the way. They are literally just, I don't know, little uh, obstacle courses, I guess, to get around when you're racing. Uh, but that's the first hairpin really right there on the route now he did take a play out of my own playbook here and we're going to dive off of this main road onto a road that's not even on the forza horizon map which is as you guys know anyone who's been around my channel for a while is one of my favorite things to do on custom routes especially all right handled that decently well would you consider that a hairpin i don't i don't think so it's just a super super tight corner Okay, that's not... Oh, that could have been really, really bad. Absolutely love, love, love this. Everything about it. But once we get 
out of the uh, the woods here and into the quarry, we are definitely going to see plenty of hairpins, which mad respect to Speed King, triple five for doing that. Um, <laughs> while we were racing it on stream, I was like, yep, definitely doing something uh, to get this, this race feature because it's really, really fun. I love hairpins, especially on rally stages. We all know they belong there. All right, so here we go, diving off into the quarry. Always a fun corner, that long sweeper into a tight right 90. Road drops out, get the car rotated around. All right, so here we go. Not gonna take the little cut. I would say that right there is another hairpin. So we've got what, two hairpins? Long sweeping right. The road again drops out here in just a second. We dive downhill again into hairpin number, what is this, three? I don't know, I'm gonna lose count. Another long sweeping, but it's a left, and then we go again downhill into one of the most difficult corners on this race. Nice, nice technical corner there. Change in elevation a few times there. Little bump on the left side of the car. The car handles it pretty well, and here we go around yet another hairpin. Come on, come on, get the car rotated. Didn't get the slide going, but that's okay, we made it. All right, nice uphill now. Not a hairpin here, but again, a very difficult corner to get right because you're going uphill with speed and there's an immediate corner. All right, downhill again, lots again, like I said, elevation changes on this route. This is a hairpin here, and then we're gonna go straight into another hairpin. Actually make that three consecutive hairpins. Sorry about your fence, bro. Good stuff. This little 2003 Focus RS is really, really fun. As everyone knows, one of the most infamous 90s rally cars out there. Driven by some absolute legends. Alright, so we are going to leave the quarry now. That does not mean the hairpins are done and over with. Always a fun jump leaving the quarry again. Have to downshift a little bit to keep the car in the power band. Actually, this car did just fine on landing. Alright, so we've got another hairpin right here leaving this section of the woods going into the next section of woods the mud is a big big challenge again in this game everybody knows that this is one of the more difficult corners again another hairpin difficult difficult sorry to get right yep as i've overcooked it just a little bit it is completely blind uh, and it is kind of over a crest a little bit awesome awesome sequence there and then up here Oh, of course, I can't go through there clean when I'm recording. Why should I? Oh, sorry about your fence. I think I'm going to name this car the fence, the fence Keeper. So this is a decently long customer. It should take you about, if I remember correctly, seven minutes. Maybe slightly longer. That's not gone well. But I didn't hit a tree, so I guess it has gone well. The car is good. It is a bit loose, uh, but... I can't really figure out how to get it tuned any better. It's it's especially difficult here on the mud. You know, everyone knows that the mud's the most difficult to drive on uh, for these off-road sections of the map in Horizon 4. Not a bad corner there. Here we go back on the tarmac. Uh, we're coming towards the end of the race, but what race is complete without taking these fun little S-curves? We'll call these chicanes too, how about it? Or hairpins too, how about it? Not necessarily hairpin-esque, but they are very, very tight and twisty, so we're going to count those two. Really, really pleased with this car, though. Again, haven't driven it much. Uh, I had plans to drive it a long time ago, along with a couple others that have this, uh, you know, Connor Speed 6 paint. Uh, just never got to it. But here we go, at the final little straight, 92% into the race. Yeah, if I could finish under 710, I think I'm going to be pretty pleased with that. Let's see if I can get there. Oh yeah, that's a bit loose. That is a bit loose. It does not like tarmac. I think those little those little uh, slides there on the tarmac got me. Yep, seven, thirteen. Ooh, that's slow. Really, really fun. Absolutely fantastic route. Be sure to try it out. Again, the share code is down below, as well as all of the other Group A custom routes uh, shared by Speed King Triple Five that we ran for the Group A live stream. But yes, good stuff by everybody involved. Again, a huge thank you to I Sam Taylor uh, for the paint. Huge, huge, massive shout out to Speed King Triple Five for all of those custom routes uh, and uh, getting those done for us to run live on 
on stream recently. They were absolutely amazing. And as you can see here, a lot of care was taken in uh, to building them and this route was really fun as well. So be sure to support the painter, be sure to support the uh, custom route creator, and be sure to support me by liking this video, dropping a positive comment below, and subscribing for more weekly content like this. But that's going to do it for me. I am Connor Speed 6. Until next time, much love everyone. See you soon.